what's up guys so today we're gonna be looking at how I make my coins basically I know I haven't made a video in a while especially when I'm using my voice I mostly just put my, my musical for it and stuff so yeah I guess today we're gonna be looking at a video of how to make coins and how to get your stuff to sell so right now I'm just quick selling my auctions and well my quick sell coins my coin quick sells so guys let me know if, who else is excited about season 4 of NBA Live Mobile because I can't wait and from the July promo we've already seen that they have coding for backcourt violations so that's probably a leak maybe we're gonna have backcourt violations in season 4 and maybe we'll have blacktop it might be against or maybe that's what arena mode might be instead of having a full court game arena mode or if you follow up with the NBA Live Reddit, you'll know that Arena Mode is is just like basically a showdown for I assume. So yeah, I know I'm excited for that. But drop drop a like below if you if you're excited about it too. So yeah. And right now I'm quick selling you might be wondering why I don't just put that in the curry or the Joel and Beat set, but that's because I don't really need any of them. I have the 105 Rust and the... Uh, who, I forgot who my backup point guard is, but I don't need a 105 point guard. And it's impossible to get the full Masters without spending any money. And if you guys are new here and or you just don't know, uh, I'm no money spent, so... My whole team is grinding. Like I got all my players from grinding, so... And they sell for 2000 apiece, so... Yeah, some of you might not like this way of making coins because it, it's it's not for everybody. Like some people try, it, they need a center, but I don't need a center. And the stats on the Joel and B card aren't even that good. So I'm basically selling everything I don't need right now, and I'm gonna be collecting my auction. So the way I get my you see how i got all of them to sell i put them like a couple thousand below market value like let's say card sells for fifteen thousand i'll put him for ten thousand because mainly bought to buy stuff from the auction like nobody buys 75 overalls anymore unless there's some noob trying to snipe but because sniping doesn't really work anymore it's not a thing anymore in this version of the game well in this season so yeah right now i'm I'm checking to put the non auctionable players. Yeah. Cause in some of the players you can't put them put them into sets. You can't put them you can't quick sell them. You can't put them on the auction house. Like they just sit on your bench. Like the players for the um what was that promo called? For the last promo, the award promo, yeah. They're just sitting on my bench. But from the draft promo, at least you could put them into sets. Mm, yeah, so I'm taking out the Gordon Hayward because I, I pulled him in the High Flyers pack for the July 4th promo. So, yeah, so I'm going to be selling him. And I'll show you guys how I make my coins because instead of searching for a specific player, I just look at their overalls because most of most like 96 Gordon Hayward and a 96, let's say, I don't know, Jeremy Lin. I don't know if he has a 96 card, but they'll sell for the same. So right now, make sure there's none for fifteen thousand, or yeah, for fifteen thousand, and I'm checking twenty-five thousand none, and now I'm checking for thirty-five thousand. Well, there are some for thirty-five thousand, so like I sell it for a couple thousand, so I'm, I think I'm gonna sell it for twenty-five thousand, just for, so it could sell quickly. And guys, let me know if you want a video. Uh, of me basically breaking down, well, not breaking down the July 4th promo, but yeah. And the D rest, I quick sold him because everybody got him. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people have him. And those who don't aren't willing to spend the money to fully upgrade him. So I just quick sold him for 25k. And these players, these, they stay on my bench. I was about to quick sell him because after the promo with the, that was like the March Madness promo. It wasn't the March Madness, but it was the NBA Finals promo. Yeah. 
you couldn't auction them, you couldn't quick sell them, so they just sat on my bench. I actually spent all my tokens on those players when I was done, because I got the magic and the D weight and I had, what, 30 tokens left? So I just used all my tokens to get those players. So James Worthy and Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, he was actually free, so I doubt he's going to sell. Yeah. So I have all the, like, you see these cords right here? I have a lot of them. I think I have all the cords. And not all the cords, but a lot of the cords that are useful. Like the one that gives plus four uh, defensive rebounding. Like, I have a lot of cords. And I've been playing this game, like, season three. I didn't really play that much. Like, I've been playing since season one, but I use different accounts. Like, all my accounts are on different phones, so, and I, I unlinked them, well, I made them for a backup email, and I deleted that email because I forgot the account information, so I just basically lost my account. That's why I don't have the Season 2 campaign, or the Legacy campaign, I don't know what it's called, but the record, I'm selling it because, yeah, they're useless to me. And you, you guys, you'll see me sell the playoff, the playoff, or the playoff moments tokens. I don't really need those. Some of you might get mad because apparent because you say they're useful, but they're not useful to me. And the curry sticks, yeah, the curry sticks, they're not auctionable. They're not quick sellable. Yeah, and I made a mistake here. I should have just quick sold it, but I put it on the auction house. Uh, for the B side tokens. Oh wait, no, I didn't put it on the auction house. Did I? I don't remember. I think well, they quick sell for one thousand anyways. Wait, was there one for twenty five thousand? Did the price go up? Wow. Well, I quick sold it. I wasn't really paying attention. But like this, the, that LeBron, it was from the NBA Awards promo, and it was an auctionable. And guys, I might drop another video this week explaining the NBA, explaining the, the importance of the July 4th promo, because I think it might have some spoilers. Yeah. So I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be dropping that. Let me guys know if you're excited and drop a like down below. So don't forget to subscribe. You know, you have to just support the channel. We're on the road to 200 subs. I wanna. Well, half of the year is almost over. Well, the year is almost over. So I wanna hit 200 subs by 2020. Let's see if we could do it. 200 subs. I know. That's 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 a pretty good. That's a pretty big milestone. And the elevate elite tokens. Yeah, I'm quick selling it because I don't really need those. Cause I don't. It costs too much to upgrade it. Like, it's $1,000 per upgrade. Well, for a small upgrade, it's $1,000. But, yeah. I'm quick selling the Game of the Week token, because I don't really need them. And the game... Yeah. And let me guys know if you're excited, if you're excited for the direction NBA Live Mobile is heading right now, because... I don't know. I think they're starting to make stuff more based off of money. I don't really like that. So right now I'm checking to see if the Jimmy Butler is yeah, he's not auctionable and I don't nobody needs ninety seven overalls anymore. Even the one oh fives I don't really need because I'm a one oh six overall. So yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically gonna be quick selling it, and I wish there was a faster way to instead of like going to the auction house and then hitting another button. I wish you could just go to the area to quick sell. Yeah, so I'm quick selling the game with the night tokens because it's like right now I only need 107s because I'm already a 106 overall. But I, I, I really don't play a showdown that much. That's why I haven't come out with any gameplay because I haven't, like, I spent most of my time grinding. So I, I basically, I'm, just, I'm basically just trash at showdown. Like, the other day, 
I'm a 106 overall, and I lost to uh, 104 overall. I lost by almost 20 points. That's sad. So, yeah. We play, like I said, the playoff moments, I'm selling it right now. Because they're not, like, I don't really need them. And I'm checking to make sure if I could add it to the coin pack or the spring cleanup. Yeah, spring cleanup pack. And I can, but it's not worth it. I did it one time. I did it one time, and then I only got, I think, a silver coin quick sell. I don't remember which one. I don't remember how much I got, but I think I got some useless token and then a coin pack. So, yeah. And, yeah, the daily token, or the daily flashback, I'm, I'm going to be quick selling it too. So, and let me know, what if you, let me know what you guys want to see in Season 4 of Infinity Live Mobile, because it's coming out in September, which is in two months. And Madden Mobile is supposed to come out late August, or early August, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with Madden Mobile. But I heard people say they're trash. It, it was trash, so I never really tried it. So but I still I still logged on because I need my badges and my awards, so and I don't really sell the coaches, I just keep them for collection because the coaches I don't think they sell. I've never really sold any of the coaches. So yeah, and all these other players, you can't quick sell them and you can't put them on the auction house. So that's it for the video guys, don't forget to subscribe, bye.